3D printed glasses. Oh my lord. I don't even know if I'm streaming. Oh yeah, we got some beats in the background here. What's up, y'all? It's like three or four days streaming in a row. I need to get me self a drink. Me self. Is that how you talk these days? I gotta get myself a drink. I'll be right back. We'll be started. 3D printer classes coming up next. A double drop down. All right, let's check it out. Get myself a seat over here. I actually got a good show for you tonight. We're gonna we're gonna do some finish up work. This is gonna be like craftorama night because we got some stuff going on. What's up, everyone? Uh, double drop down. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. It's, ah, I already turned it off. It would have said fusion series. Dang it. Or three D printed glasses. Man, I feel like it would have been cool to start with that. But anyways, let me get this focus going. See, I was an unorganized streamer tonight. I figured, you know, it's a little bit raw of a series. Get a little behind the scenes of the setup. I'm wearing even like an undershirt tonight. This is behind the scenes work. You get to 3D printing. You get to all this designing on models and things. But there's still an element of just regular human hand touch to get these things to work functionally. I've wore these glasses almost every single one of the streams up to this point. Not even this pair, a bunch of different versions of it. And so to nail it in so it fits on your face and you can wear them from years, it's been years up to this point I've been doing this, that you gotta do a couple things. I'll be right back. Oh, we got Edison here in the chat. Nice, that's good. So. In regard to the glasses, I feel like this has been my series of getting over this hump of learning Fusion 360. I feel a little bit more proficient. I feel like I'm just scratching the surface, but I could figure out how to do 3D modeling in there now, which is good. I recreated my glasses, which I've already been wearing from a different 3D printed organ. Let's see here. It was like organized into about three different other softwares, Blender, Tinkercad, I feel like there was another one where I downloaded a bunch of different pieces and parts and shaped and, f and, and fit and created my old pair of glasses. But I didn't have a cool model that I could go and adjust, do all my little things, and actually fit them to my head. And then go all stylish and add the extra flair. None of this is painted. It's just different filament types. I'm all about using different filaments for different colors. I think that's my thing. If I get a 3D printer again... I'll probably think about a different function. This is FDM, and I love this one. I've been tuned it in. I gotta probably get into resin. I heard that I can get a resin printer that actually has enough um, rigidity and, and I don't know if that's the right word I would wanted to use right there, but a lot of different features that this Pet G has to where I could leave it in my car and it won't melt completely as long as it's not a ridiculously hot day. But let's see here. I was trying to buy some time because I want to turn on my back camera here in a second. So if you go to the GoPro, which is not on, of course, and not is the, the, the droid cam. We're going to go and turn those on in a minute. But what I have behind me is a blower. And why is that important? So when you get these off of the printer, which actually do you have a printer cam? I think I do have a printer cam. There is a pair that I just printed. I just finished minutes ago. Do I have uh, a readout? Let's see what the readout was. An hour and 22 minutes to print those frames in 19 seconds. I don't know if that keeps counting. I don't think it does. So those frames, once you get them on there and you get that started, you're good to go. I'm going to probably take those off and I'm going to turn on these other cameras in a second here. But that's what's fun about this is that I could model it over the weekend, a couple hours. You saw those episodes, one by myself, one with my girlfriend, almost to be wife. And then now tonight, 
where you get to see the aftermath. Let's get these things on my eyes. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to do any AI work out there? Edison, I don't know if you're out there, but we need to know if we want to do some AI work tonight because I need to get some prompts in the chat if that's what we're doing here. And we have to get another follower. Tonight, it's, a, it's about getting another follower as well. Look at that. We're like in sync really well. You can see the front of my hand and the back of my hand. So well, well planned shot out here. All right, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna get to the back of the room here. Now that you see my back, oh, watch this. Turn that light on. Ooh, that was cool enough for the corner there. Okay. So we need to get this camera on. That's one of the things that we're going to have to adjust today. So I have this droid cam. And then i got to reboot my GoPro. What we see here on this bed is it's fixed to it. So I'm going to have to turn that on in just a second. Oh, wait. Do we have this camera? Sweet. Maybe we might have another camera. Let's see if we got the droid cam. we got the droid cam. We're going to talk about this in just a second here. But what we're going to do is going to take these off. And if you see this, I can just grab it and it's stuck this is pei board i love it and so what i have over here you're gonna get to see all the little toys and, and tools is i got this scraper i think i got it at some hardware store like a like an old mom and pop one and it has a razor blade in there i love this one gotta be careful i've already cut myself one time i was pushing it through and it cut right in my hand not a good moment not a good look but what we can do let's see if we got droid cam or uh, gopro here Oh, wait, I didn't even turn on GoPro. Of course, we're not going to have it yet. Now we're going to turn that guy on, and let's see if we can get into GoPro in a second here. We're hoping for GoPro. We got GoPro. Yes, we do. All right, this is good. Let's get back onto the printer, though. We're taking this guy off, and then we're going to assemble this thing over on the droid cam, and you can see, oh, let's, let's take this off. We don't need to look at the printer anymore. So I got an actual pair of glasses. There's a couple of them that we can play with tonight. Here's here's another pair that we're going to be playing with. Uh, I, there's three different frames. It's going to be hard for you to say. You're going to be, Adam, this looks like the same stupid glasses you've had for years. Why are you all excited about this right now? Well, I already told you I was excited that I was able to kind of pull this shit together and redo it completely in Fusion 360 because I got some ideas for new things with glasses and I actually got one of them that I'm going to show you. So I think we've mastered this pair apparently, but I got another pair that I have in my head that I'm designing out that's going to look futuristic. I'm telling you, and they got to be yellow and they got to be black. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it. All right. So going back to the 3D printer, let's get this sucker off. I'm like really talking it up, but what I, what I try to do is, you'll see I have a little skirt on here. I guess that's a skirt. Maybe it's not even a skirt. But I take that little guy off. And look at that. Looks like a pair of glasses. How cute is that? I'm going to throw that away. But that's good. Look at that. That just shows how tuned in my printer is. If I can take the skirt off and it still has that rigidity, look at that. That's good. You can see the shapes of it. I love all the curves and how this all printed out. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on one side and I'm going to go real low and slow and I just kind of wiggle it. I just kind of wiggle it under there. I don't want to really push it too much and it's just going to slide under. And so you got one side that you can kind of lift. And if it doesn't lift too much, I might go to the other side, do the same thing. Just low and slow. And I'm going back and forth, if you could see. This time I'm using my left hand, so let's, let's not slip get under there okay so I got both sides under there and I'm just gonna kind of wiggle the thing back and forth and it's gonna pop right off and I know there was a bar in the way of that but you, you get the you got the thing now the first thing you might notice is there's a lot of little hairs there's a lot of little things that are falling off of that and you would be right to say that those things do not look good those things are just little extra hairs and such in the 3d printing process and so what we're going to do is we're going to take off some of those things and we're going to prep this stuff so it's finalized and good to go. So I did all the printing. You didn't get to see some of that work. That, print, that, that work was done. So you'll notice that I got uh, a pair of the glasses here. Let's go take a look at these on the droid cam because this is my, my coup de grace of these glasses. This is like the style. This is actually version two 
of my glasses and the official initial style it has this little graphic I created this is a spine with a little skull in the middle and so I think I went in and I found some various clip art graphics but then I used those to be able to create my own styles of a couple things and uh, as a template as you if you will and then I got a little skull and I down resed it and I started doing some sculpting on it to be just kind of really uh, nice I wonder if I could zoom this in can I get in Let's see how much we can get into this look at that see the textures on this so we do this stuff get that that good zoom in isn't that cool I don't know I think it's cool and then let's look at the glasses since we have the this this thing on so see these burrs and stuff like that it's actually really easy to get out watch what you do is you just start scraping I'm just gonna take my fingernail here and I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate it and I'm just gonna pull it off and a lot of it's gonna just come off right easy like they're, they're not actually hard they're not connected if you will let me zoom this little guy out here it's gonna be hard for me to uh, continue that was all the way in on that zoom so I'm gonna keep using my fingernail like this through this and you're gonna see right away it cleans everything up really good because they weren't actually attached to the body they weren't things that came out it was enough and I think it's because my printer was a little close the nozzle was close I wanted these nice and tight you know they like, you know what I mean you want them nice and tight all right let's get that piece I mean, I think I'm gonna have to put some music on so you could vibe to that I got that lo-fi beats tonight it was good let's look at the front of them all right check this out check this little little flourish out I've got on these things let's see if we can see it on a zoomed in thing oh, I don't know if I can you can kind of see it when I make a see that triangle there I put in a little triangle look at that that's sweet I did on this one too see that triangle in there Yep, yeah, that's an old logo. When I was in art school, I had a triangle logo that I made, and I thought it was pretty badass, and I've used it in everything since. So I'm getting the little burrs out of here. We're nearly done. This, this, this is my favorite pair thus far, and I'll show you why in a second. I'll show you a couple of the differences. It's subtle because you got to think, like, when you 3D print, you can do a lot of the – the subtle details depending on how much of how big your nozzle is and how much uh, this plastic you're going to squirt out into some sort of a form. And in this particular case, I'm just always running with a four millimeter nozzle. Is that where, the right one? I think it's called a four millimeter. I, you know, you don't never know these days. This is the 3D printing show, but we're using it on the practical and the functional side of what we can do here. There we go. Think about that just a few minutes ago, how crunched up and, and not right those are. And if you've been wondering what the heck I have been doing this over, this thing that looks like some sort of a, a gun, this is my heat gun. It is a gun. It says, no cry, baby. You don't want to cry. Hold on, I need to grab some drinkage. Yeah, good skirt. I got Tri Enemy in the call. This is amazing. One of the things is that back, back by the workshop, I can't see the, I cannot see the chat. So you can't hype me on when I'm back there. So if you're watching this, what I was gonna do is I'm just taking a quick uh, uh, snag of this Lacroix drink. Sponsor us. Double drop down. We'll drink your delicious Lacroix for free if you send it to us. Mmm. So refreshing. Okay, we gotta we gotta turn this heat on. I don't know what to expect with this. I'm gonna turn some beats on. I think we need some beats in the background for this. This thing gets loud. It's probably not gonna be a very comfortable listen as we turn it on. Let me see if I can get some good cameras angles of it. And I'm it, it shoots heat up, so I don't want to shoot it onto my phone camera. So I'm a little nervous about that. So let me see what I can do to get this shot all queued up. Come on over to. Hang out with me. All right. We are done with 3D printer. 3D printer's getting turned off. Boom. It's off. 
Now I'm gonna get this thing set up. It's already plugged in. And what I gotta do is I'm gonna set this guy up over here and see if we can get this right. All right, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Get this camera over here and out of the way. Let's see on the GoPro here. All right, this is a decent angle. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta turn this thing on and I'm gonna start shaping this. And all what I'll probably do is I'm gonna shape it right in front of me, so I'm gonna clear a little space off here. Make it a little nice and easy. Oh, can you hear me there? All right, that's good. So the thing is, I don't want to do this thing. You know what, I wonder if I can sit down. I can sit down, I have a seat back here. Okay, I'm vibing, I got this. So what we have here is my glasses set. And I do not want to heat this while they're created. So one of the cool things is my my patented and snap. Okay, I hope I shouldn't say that and then it's gonna break or something. You can hear that on snap. So what I just did is I took apart the glasses so we could take a look at it. And so if you look on the droid cam, one of the things about these glasses that I liked was I changed the, the connector point. And this is really bright over here. I'd have to like turn this shit down if I, let's see here, that's going the other way. Oh, look at this, different colors. That's a terrible thing. Ah, oh, there we go, dimming it up. Camera's trying to adjust to it. But what we got, oh, I like that, it's dramatic lighting. Cause these are white, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna just do some, it's gonna shoot off that, raise off that. But in the 3D print, you saw it, you could just look at one of the VODs, is these things are really nice and uh, like tuned in. Like I went ahead and made this insert inside of those, and then this little part just pops right in here. And you can see this, I feel like I need to probably show this off. This is a key part of the design that I was working on. So hopefully it doesn't break it right on stream. That'd be hilarious. But see this, it doesn't like just fit straight in there. And it's like a ball, right? I made it just out of um, using this volumetric tool in here. And you'll see that I even had to kind of rough it up right around here. And the reason for that is you want to take off just a little hair of it so it fits snug right in to this hole. And so what happens is this isn't a straight just hole. It slowly uh, gets a little bit bigger in there. So you gotta shove it through so you could get past a little bit of a barrier. So I'm gonna hold it like this and it snaps in, right? And look how solid that is. Like it is a good bind. I've been working on that connector for a freaking year. And I don't know, I think like the reason I had to work on it was I was tuning it. I'd have to wear the glasses. You know, it was like an actual functional test of like what was gonna be needed. Cause I used to heat this part up and try to heat this thing in there. It was super inconsistent. I wanted off the printer quality here. And that's what you get. That's what you get with the Abdo design, except for when I knock over some shit. So what I'll have to do is take all the different pieces and parts off because I'm gonna do this in different phases. So let's see here. Which glasses do I want to do this for on the stream is the question. And I wish I had a way to kind of show you some differences here. And I, maybe I can. Maybe I can put this on there. But with them being white, as far as the glass material, it's hard. So I got three pairs here. And they all have very subtle differences. So what are the things you would think about? You're going to wear some glasses. Who wears glasses out there? Tell me about it. I feel like I'm going to grab my phone and see if I get chat on it. Yeah, it says I'm live, so let's go to the chat. My channel, baby. This is weird if I'm gonna be seeing myself. Okay, so I'm watching myself on stream, but what I wanna do is I'm gonna go into the chat. There we go. Hello, peeps. 
So you should be trying to chat me up as we go along. Next step is we're gonna grab the heater. And let's try it, I just wanna turn it on. Okay. So you gotta let that warm up for a second, okay? So one of the tricks to this is I am, I am going to want to use like a form and that's me right here. All right, it looks like I am on the stream over there too. So this is good. Let me grab something else. Welcome to the lab. This is fun. I haven't got to use this lab that much, but this is exactly what I was expecting it to be like. If anybody's out there, I'm, I'm waiting for some chat. It would be nice to hear from you. It would be nice to see, to see that you're out there watching some weird crafting tonight. All right. I think we need we need to jump into this real quick and just be able to take a, a quick peek as the differences in these things. So you can kind of see it right here. And I've been trying these different lights. Who cares? Let's try some different ones. We want to see if we can get, a, get this better for you. Because it's so white that it really just reflects that thing so i think this looks pretty decent so the first one is this one has no chamfers on it actually has one chamfer this one has no chamfers this is the no chamfer glasses oh god it's gonna it's gonna get behind the scenes because i didn't have enough light on it now it's all right so what i'll do is i'm gonna zoom it out just a tad bit Look at that cool garbage fail kid sticker okay this pair no chamfers around the edge whatsoever none right here completely flat so it's just like very flat harsh edges okay number one number two I went chamfer city on this one and it's kind of hard to see but basically the it curves on both of these sides there's uh, some chamfers and so that it, it, it kind of is rounded there. And then I also put a rounded one right here in the nose. This is a key one because I used to sand this down, but just because it used to be so harsh and I couldn't put a chamfer on it. So now I have a pair and this is the pair we're gonna be working on tonight. But I also did one, just a classic pair because I wanted to put the cool uh, designs in here. I always do like a branded version of it. And this is the first branded version of my new pair. And so I got the little triangles in that, in this one. And no chamfer on the outside. I wanted harsh, just crisp lines like a cartoon. But I did put the chamfer in the nose set. So there are the three unique types that you can get when you get here. Now, as far as the arms, these ones are pretty standard. And when I say standard is that I always use the same arm base. And then I change up what I put up on the front of it. What's awesome about this set is before when I crammed some pieces together is I made some glasses in blender but then after I couldn't figure out how to add a triangle to make this little dip in it and so I ended up going in Tinkercad and like pulling in my blender glasses and linking it to these so it has this weird line and multiple layers and I could do some cool effects with it but generally I like this one super clean the print comes out really really nice there's chamfers all around the edges of this one we got that ball and socket tuned in super good. And you know, honestly, the black and white, that is just classic for me. This is my glasses type. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get the glasses all set up. Uh, let's get some lights up because we gotta get some, some light in here to see what's going on. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is heat it up. So you hear that, that noise? That's because it's going hard right now. What do you see right here? Can I zoom this out? I wonder if it's completely zoomed. Oh, it is. We don't want to zoom it in. I wanted to see if we could get zoom it out. And get, a, get that kind of an angle on this sucker. You can see my skeleton dude in the background? Okay. So I think we're good. We're burning some, some hot air right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I just start if, putting it over the top. So let me cut to this angle and see which one's going to be better for you to see this. So I just, I roll it over the top. And what I'm trying to do 
is I don't want to get these edges, these, these inputs, you do not want to heat those up. Where I'm trying to heat up is basically where my finger is right here and basically my finger is. So I'm going to start with one side and I'm going to just get it a little bit cool, heated up, okay? So once you get it heated up enough and you sometimes you just lay it over the top for just a second, move it back and forth, move it back and forth, movement's a big thing, it's going to start getting bendy, okay? So right when it starts getting bendy is when, when you really want to start leveraging what you can do. And so you can see right here, I'm going to come back over on it, get it heated up a little bit. All right, there we go. Very subtle. I don't like it because I need a little bit more heat over here. Okay. There we go. We got one side, and I'm going to push my thumb into it a little bit. One side. And good thing we have a couple other printouts here because then you'll be able to see the difference from this. So I'm basically putting a slight arc in it. And I'm doing it to eye level. I'm just not, I'm not even have a a form or anything like that just trying to get a nice little arc to it and that looks good and so right now it's a little bit straight on this edge I try not to get close to that that other thing so I'm not gonna do it too much just enough get some heat on it take it off that heat there we go gets a little bit more malleable right there so right there I have a pretty decent arc on this and if you look on the other side, it's flat. So we got an arc, it's flat. We're gonna do the same thing for the other end. Just gonna just start heating it up. And give it a little... And all those little hairs that you saw in it earlier, those are the kind of things that will uh, disappear at this step if you're using a heat gun. They just kind of get sucked up. There's a few more burrs on here that I might pick off as I'm doing this, so... See how I pause for a second and I get off of it? I let it kind of cool for a second because I knew it was close. And so there we go. Got a little bit of twist into that. Sometimes you can just let gravity do the work. This is very subtle touch moves right here. So I already know that this is gonna this is gonna pinch my head. It's almost too drastic of, of a curve, but it's looking good. And so one of the things I could do is I could heat up this center point. I'm getting right in the center now. And and try to kind of bend them out a little bit just give it a little bit of a form from that nose so the trick here is you want to line it up to eye there's one side that i'm gonna heat up a little bit more and and you'll notice right now i've already got something that looks like glasses like it has that that nice form and notice i didn't print it exactly like that i designed these specifically to be able to do this step because originally my thought which was actually inaccurate was that I would have to heat it up to get the glasses in there and so I figured well I would just form it to the glasses oh this is looking really good right now I like it I gotta move this chat room I don't think anybody's in the chat I don't think anybody's actually watching this right now but if you're watching it on the VOD one of the things that you're gonna want to really do is just look at those angles there or at least those uh yeah, I mean, I would say it's an arc or something. So these are looking good because you want to be um, pretty set up. So let's look at it next to a flat pair now. So you could already see that there's a curve that I put into that, right? This is non-curve. This is the curve version. We get a little bit artsy-fartsy here. Make sure it's perfect on the craft. There's like a little little dip right here that's driving me nuts. And it's so subtle. Like you'd have to be in on it to see it. Okay. I got it. Alright. So I'm going to call those done. That looks good. Our first pair of glasses on the stream... That was a practice round on that. So what we want to do is we're going to use the full-on chamfered glasses. And we're going to finish out by creating these, trying to pop in some lenses. This is the full official pair here. So let's get it going. Let's rock it while we listen to some music. The first official real pair 
from the new, ooh, got it there. You get, this makes it so hot in the room. I'm telling you, it's just like having a little mini heater on in the room. Okay. Sometimes you gotta hold it in place. Let's get it right. Oh man, this is, these ones are gonna be sick. I already can tell, it's gonna be badass. Okay. Let's get that other side. I gotta rock the chamfer. For a long time, that's what I've been wanting to do with these glasses, is chamfer their asses. And here we are doing it, live on stream, version 2.0. When I did this before, it was in this dank little room, not with all these badass lights, cool ass streams, my homies out there, my friends watching me, watching me craft my shit. That's what it's all about. It's about sharing it all. Sharing what we do. All right, that's looking good. So if I put these down on the table though, I can tell that this side is higher than that side. So you gotta start using your, your smarts on how you're gonna craft this thing. Like, look at it. You gotta look at some of those little details there. And that's what's gonna get you, that's what's gonna get you your glasses in a good way. So look at, I have this little print head. You probably can't even see it, but down here, and I could use that as like a, a measurement tool put it under one side and put it under the other side and so for instance this other side it fits right under now one of the nice things about these kind of plastic glasses is you can come in here and you can do this well after the fact you got to be careful you got it if you take it to like an optometrist you got to let them know that it's 3d printed and be careful but you can take your glasses there and they will fit you with lenses. I'm telling you, they will do that. I have gone and everyone loves it when they see that. These glasses look sick, look at that. Perfect. We're in good modes right here. All right. Because we're on stream night, what you wanna do is you wanna make a few pairs of glasses. That's how we do this. You can see how it's like a little factory. Because if you don't do this, you end up with a pair of glasses that is almost there and you just think about this heating thing and it's a pain in the ass to do. And that's why I'm, I'm kind of getting the mode, mood for it. You gotta, you gotta feel that plastic melt. I'm at the highest setting on this no cry thing right now. That's why it goes a little fast. I've done this a few times. I used to do it with a hair dryer. It took a lot longer with a hair dryer and I got worse results because I couldn't basically target an area quickly enough and you'd uh, melt other parts of it that you didn't want to melt. So moving this for me is I'm just moving the part that needs to be over it because I don't want to melt my inputs. All right, we got three of these done. Can you imagine we just did three of these? But it goes to show you how quick it gets after you get a couple of them. It's not bad. Now I do this by hand, but what I think I wanna do is make a mold so I can just like heat it and put it in the mold. So make it a little faster for me in the beginning. And if you get it heated up and you do it fast enough like this, you can go back and get it heated and it gets into this other state where it's almost like still solid, but you're still crafting on it. So it's about using that heat a little bit smart. And then it's also about never touching this thing after uh, you get out of there. So that's looking good to me. Got three pairs done. What do we do with these things? That's always the question. You know, how do you create these pieces well? Well, what you gotta do is you don't put them on and I hold them together like this and I'm gonna be looking at them like this. So I'm gonna grab one of them or two of them and we just kinda are going over the top right we're doing a little bit of heating we need the whole thing we need both sides of it heated so keep that in mind and I probably don't usually do both of them at the same like that but we're gonna do it this time because it seems like it's the most effective now this is a 40% infill on this guy so you have a little bit of play it's not fully solid inside there so okay we're starting to get a little bit of play in it and you can see this happening right now so it's up here. We got a little bit of curve to it. And let's see here. Can we get some in that one? Okay. So you start putting them together. Kind of use your thumbs here. 
and uh, kind of pulling it together. I just want this subtle curve. I'm just pulling it with there. I got to get a little bit more heat. Got to get a little bit more heat towards the bottom here. So I'm kind of working my way up it. Just working my way. It's like a little bit of an art project here, y'all. All right. So again, using each hand, I try to do the same kind of movements on each hand because I want to I wanna have these as similar as possible. So when I pull these together now, you can see that they're starting to get close. This left-hand side, I need, I need a little bit more heat on that. I need to get that one rolling. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, there we go. Get a little bit up there. Now the fun part for me is getting the backs of these done because I can get it like to be really comfortable on my ear. Let's see here, let me get this. Uh, I like to have a little bit of a curve and then a little bit of a straighten it out at that end part. So they just fit on my head really good. All right. Heat this little sucker up a little bit more. What are we looking at like? Okay. Giving it some pressure there. I'm gonna put them together here. Oh yeah. They're looking very similar. Look at that. Tell me that's not looking good. All right, let's get this end done. So when I get to the end, I like to hold it like this. Now I'm, I'm not gonna put too much pressure because it's still a little hot over there, but I'm gonna go over this heat. Go over the heat a little bit. Yeah, get it in there. And then I'm gonna bend these down. I, I, I like it to, to get around my ear. This is probably the easier of the parts here because I uh, get these heated up and then I can just do it all in one foul swoop. Okay, one of them's a little heated more. Let's do, do this. I'm doing this all at the same time this time. This has been fun. I don't always do them at the same time. Just don't drop it in there. That would be terrible. All right, let's see here. Yeah, look at that. So I give it a, like a little little turn. You don't want those edges to dig in your skin at the back. So imagine those going around your head. Let's get this one right here. Get it out a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit much. So what I gotta do is it's like an in and then an out. Okay. So there's an in. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. There we go. Starting to get in there. If I could zoom in on this guy a little bit. Hold it in place. I like this one. I'm gonna try to get one nail down. So I'm trying to get this tip to kind of like feather out a little. There we go. There you go. I'll be comfortable on the head right around. Actually, the only thing is I gotta I gotta pull this down now. Go behind the ear. Look at that. Okay. Now we just need to get this other one to be in tune. So what I want to do is look at it. Try to emulate it. it's like an art form or something maybe I didn't even say that but it feels like it 
This is crafting and making, y'all. All right, there we go. There we go. We almost have a pair done. So this needs to take a, a little bit of more of an in. Another in. I think we're we're about there. There's something nicer about this top one. I gotta I gotta get that in. Out and in. Oh yeah, that was it. That was it. So it's just a uh, subtle movements. You see how long this takes? This takes a minute. It's not it's not for the faint of heart, I'm telling you. Shaping glasses, you want to do this? Work. This is why I don't sell them. So I'd be doing this shit all night long. I don't know how long I've been streaming. Oh, Edison is back. What's up, man? You have missed out so much on the stream. I don't know how lagged out far behind my message is going to get to you. I've been watching it on my phone. And what I do has been very far in the past. Let's see here. I'm using a heat gun to do some shit with some plastic right now. To bend some plastic. Helping a friend with a computer. Always a good thing to do. You become the tech support dude. How's work, man? You been doing good for us? Let's see. There we go. Get into that shit. Answer the phone before it rang. That's great. All right, I want to talk about that in a second. We just made some glasses, y'all. This has been a good moment. This has been it in the making. Is It's hot in here, so I'm going to stop. I have one more set over here that I can jack with that I might do later. But we did three sets of these glasses, and I wanted to try each of them. Or I wanted to have each of them at my disposal. The ones I'm going to go with, the fully chamfered version. So we're gonna pop these suckers in. Let's see. If we can get it in, that's the question. Ooh, you hear that snap? So good. Okay, so we got the pair of glasses and notice how they like really grip towards your head. I usually start with them like that because it like stays on your head really well. Now there's some things that I'm already noticing that I might have to do and I've done this before is you get the glasses and you get them pretty close, but you're gonna notice a little bit of inconsistencies. There's a little bit of things that don't quite line up. So if you look at it from this angle, see they're, they're, not, they're not quite like in line with each other. So this is where I do my quick tune-ups. And what I'm gonna do is I turn this, this heater back on and I'll probably, let me, let me heat it up a little bit hot, hotter, a little bit faster here. But what you're gonna do is you can just do touch-ups. And you cannot even see what I'm doing, so you'll just have to watch from this one. So you grab it like this, and then you start making your adjustments. You try not to get next to any of the main connector areas, because you're going to screw yourself if you do it that way. Uh, you don't want to mess with that. And don't ever do it with the actual glasses in. Bad choices right there if you do that. Yeah, this is because I wear these glasses. They, they look good because... Um, I spent like a lot of time building these things and I have to wear them. I was like, when I first made the first pair, I was like, I don't even know if I'll be able to wear these a week. It's going on two or three years now. Three printed glasses. So I feel like that's my thing. Like I gotta do glasses good. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited about my new pair. What you missed me talking about is I did some AI stuff. Yeah, I know. I can sell them, huh? Look at this. If you want to see what these look like, I can put them here. Check that shit out.